Good morning, everyone. My name is Annie Fink, and I'm the Marketing Specialist for Viva Select California. Thank you for attending our Learn in 30 webinar today focused on Stratus, high availability and fault tolerant computers to run industrial software. After the webinar this morning, we'll be doing a short Q&A. Please type any questions or comments into the Q&A box, the chat box, or you can email us at webinar at california.vivaselect.com. Now I'd like to introduce your presenter for today's webinar, Frank Hill. Frank is the Regional Sales Director for the Western U.S. and Canada. Good morning, Frank. Hey, good morning, Annie. Thank you so much for having us on today. And uh, thanks, thank you, the audience, for uh, joining to learn a little bit more about Stratus Technology and Aviva Select California. Uh, we're going to talk today about selecting the best computer for industrial automation projects. So let's dive in. What do I mean by the best computer? Or what does it take to be the best computer for industrial automation? First of all, it's got to be fast to deploy because time is money. If you're a system integrator, you know, saving days to uh, on server infrastructure deployment can mean a, a big difference in your uh, profitability. Yeah, uh, the best computer also needs to save you from unplanned downtime. These computers need to be sustainable for 10 plus years, because as you know, our industrial customer base keeps computers running for a very long time before replacement. Uh, it needs to be able to have a built-in health monitoring. It needs to be able to integrate easily into your other industrial uh, software applications. And it needs to be maintainable uh, by non-technical staff. Because as you know, edge computing and IIoT are driving deployment of computers to many, many different locations. And oftentimes they don't have any IT support. And of course, you need to be able to meet your budgetary requirements and get good value out of the solution. So low cost is a key factor. So if you're not familiar with Stratus, we've been around for over 40 years. And our claim to fame is that we make the world's most reliable servers. And you, you'll hear the word fault tolerant. And that's, that's what Stratus has provided. When we started 40 years ago, that was even before Windows was invented. And so we have our own operating system called VOS that is used oftentimes in the banking and financial services market. Banks today are using our newest platform, the FT server uh, that mounts in a computer rack. You'll see a picture of it down below there. Banks like American Express, and th they are uh, you know, protecting credit card authorization and uh, the most critical applications on Stratus platforms. But industrial automation over the last 10 years has grown into Stratus's biggest and fastest growing marketplace. So you're going to see a lot of things as I talk about the solutions that are designed specifically to address your issues. So let's just dive in. The first product I want to talk about is the ZTC Edge. Now, ZTC stands for Zero Touch Computing. And that's really the goal of Stratus is to deliver a platform that is easy to deploy, easy to support, and will last a long time. And at the same time, we'll be protecting your applications. You'll notice just so, some of the awards that Stratus has won for this product line. And there are many, uh, I, you know, I'm not showing all the logos there, but a lot of the uh, consulting firms like ARC and Frost and Sullivan have all recognized this product as being a game changer for industrial automation. So you might recognize the form factor. It's, called, it's an industrial PC form factor. Many of you have used industrial PCs, but this is not your normal industrial PC. You'll notice here I've highlighted in yellow some of the, the, the specifications of this server. And it's truly a server. It's, not, it's using the Intel Xeon processor, which is the same uh, a processor you would find in a rack-mounted uh, server. It's got 20 uh, threads, 20 V cores, 64 gig of memory, two terabytes of storage, uh, and it's industrial. So no moving parts, no fan. It mounts on a DIN rail or, or mounts on a wall. And look at the temperature range, minus 20 to 60. So it can live in, in places where you could never deploy a rack-mounted you know, a typical server. And it's even class one div two for those environments where you're worried about explosive uh, uh, fumes and stuff like that. So 
two models, yeah, they're very, very high performance. And the reason they're high performance is because this platform is built for virtualization. In fact, these come from the factory preloaded with, with the virtualization software. Virtualization means you can run multiple applications, multiple virtual machines. And so with the performance that you can get in a ZTC, it's not uncommon to run four virtual machines on the ZTC Edge platform. Now you take it out of the box, you plug in this blue and yellow cable here, and that's the interconnect to keep the two nodes synchronized. You plug in the power cord, you assign a couple of IP addresses to the two nodes in the, the virtualization layer, and in less than 30 minutes, your, your, your fault-tolerant uh, compute platform is ready to load software. And loading software is simple because you can use a standard ISO file like you, you're, you're uh, used to using, or if you're uh, already using virtualization like VMware, you can use a OVF or OVA file to deploy the software. So that's simply a matter of in 30 minutes, you're gonna now start to just import the, the VMs onto the box and be up and, and ready to go with full deployment in less, in less than a couple of hours of copy time. So this, this platform saves a lot of time and money. It is often used uh, for uh, you know, SCADA with, uh, with uh, thin clients. You see they're an RDS server, that's very common. Now, the ZTC Edge, like you're used to with Stratus, we deliver fault tolerant computing. So if you load your four virtual machines, uh, each one of them is, is light, it has only a single license required because the two nodes are considered to be a single computer. And if the uh, one of the nodes were to fail, like the one with the red accent through it, there is no downtime or restart of your applications. That's what we mean by fault tolerance. Instead of like you're used to with high availability, you would have a restart of your applications on a, on a good node after a failure. That doesn't happen with Stratus because that a blue and yellow cable are synchronizing CPUs, memory, disks, and the IO, everything is, is redundant and everything is running at the same time locked together. So again, any uh, hardware failure, there is no downtime or restart of your application. So bumpless. This is uh, protecting your applications from downtime rather than recovering from downtime as other solutions might do. The system is, is designed around industrial automation to be able to communicate OPC. So we expose all the health information uh, in, in a form factor that you can then tie in the alerts and alarms and data right into your HMI. And we have the faceplates already created to do this. The system is also smart enough to be able to call home to Stratus. If you have a internet connection capable, we have secure methods for letting the system deposit a uh, health alert to Stratus and uh, that initiates your support model, which is where Stratus is gonna deliver you a replacement component for anything that fails. So here's just a quick idea of pricing. These, these things are affordable and deliver incredible value. So you can see here that even for the largest ZTC Edge platform that you're going to run at least you know, four virtual machines on, $8,500. And then you've got various support options depending on what you want Stratus to cover for you. But the, but the system is very flexible. You can deploy a single node system. And later on, you can just plug in a second node and it would automatically become redundant. So these can be deployed as single node or dual node systems. Now, if, if the workloads you have at your facility uh, won't uh, need more capacity and you have the capability of a clean air conditioned environment, a great option is our FT server platform. FT stands for fault tolerant server. And this, this system has many of the same value props that we just talked about on the ZTC. So here's a picture of one. If you take the cover off the front, you'll see here that there's two customer replaceable units. Each one of these slices 
have all the components you would find in a typical server. You can see here there's disk drives in the front of the unit, there's CPUs, there's memory, there's IO cards. You, everything in this system is redundant. The, instead of having that blue and yellow cable connect the two uh, nodes together for, for communication and synchronization, the FT server does it through the backplane. So you're getting the complete redundancy, a, a single system. So in other words, you, your licensing, your, uh, how it looks on the network, it looks like one computer, but under the covers, any application you run will be running in two places at once. And if a part breaks, no downtime, no data loss, the, the, the system will communicate OPC locally and call back to Stratus automatically. The next day, you get a user replaceable hot pluggable component. So to fix it, you're just unthumb screwing the bad part, sliding it out, slide in the, the one we've sent you, and it will automatically detect it, synchronize, and bring it back into full lockstep uh, fault tolerance. And this is without any downtime. And this is without having your uh, local site person to touch a keyboard. You don't have to reload software. So this makes it very um, easy for uh, edge locations, people that don't, uh, places that don't have a lot of IT support to keep uh, modern infrastructure, uh, for compute infrastructure up and running and, uh, and sustainable. So just by comparison here, uh, if the traditional way of doing a virtualized solution is you're going to have multiple computers all tied together through some fabric switches connected to a SAN, and then the availability model of this traditional approach would be to divide up your virtual machines across your, your nodes, and if a node failed, though, the applications that were running on that node would disappear, and then they would restart in five to 15 minutes. On the Stratus server, you're eliminating the fabric switch, the SAN, and you're been able to go with single licenses, single copy of Windows uh, to run all the applications on the, on the system. Like a, a Windows data center license, you only need one. And if any part breaks in the Stratus system, no downtime, no restart, you know, it's just simple. And it goes through the support model of, Stratus delivering the spare component. This allows you to keep those systems up and running for a very long time with Stratus. So we have specifications and we're not going to get into those here, but you know these systems, the FT server system can scale for up to 72 threads, up to a terabyte of storage, which, which is a lot. The cool thing is, is that we've built a sizing tool for Aviva. So uh, your Aviva software is already preloaded in there. So if you know what applications you want to run on a Stratus platform, you just have to use the drop-down menus, select what applications you want, and it will automatically populate the specifications, the vCPU memory disk for each of those applications. Now you can customize those as well if you have your own ideas on how much vCPU a memory, a memory a application requires, you can put the, that data in. And then this system, this, this tool will tell you what, uh, what platform you need, how much memory, how much disk, how many, I, uh, how many NIC cards you need. So this is a great way to very confidently size a, a uh, virtualized infrastructure without having to take and taking the guesswork out of it. So we have a lot of example projects. We've been doing industrial automation with Aviva for, for many years. But just a couple of examples, uh, water wastewater. We are doing a ton of water wastewater. Uh, well, that's the wrong slide for water waste. So uh, yeah, let's turn to water first. Uh, so water wastewater, uh, you know, some of the recent projects, we did San Mateo County, we did uh, uh, the city of San Mateo, the uh, uh, Alameda County uh, projects in Southern California. Uh, one of our one of our oldest water customers is Pinellas County in Florida. They're a very large uh, 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 water district, 
And they've been using Stratus for over 10 years. We on our on our website, we have a nice video case study from their SCADA manager. And he talks about how they haven't had a single unplanned downtime in over 10 years working with Stratus. So water, water uh, customers love Stratus. They love the fault tolerance. They love the operational simplicity. They love the longevity of the system. So if you're if you're working water, please give us a call. We can share some great case studies with you. Now, the first one I turned to accidentally here was uh, food and beverage. So food and beverage, we, you know, a great example of our work there is with Dairy Farmers of America. So they have 43 sites all across the United States. They're running a Stratus fault tolerance server uh, in those facilities. And that's because they've got a small centralized SCADA team that's having to support all of these uh, sites. So if they had a problem at a site, you know, and they had to reload software, I mean, it could be painful to have to go out to these sites to, to work on them. And they were having to do that. Today, they're able to sit back and centrally uh, manage and do the, the SCADA work, but from, from remotely, but when a part breaks on one of their Stratus servers, they just have whoever's at the plant, you know, a maintenance engineer, uh, replace the component, hot swap it. And then the, the old part just gets shipped back to Stratus using our labels and our box. So it made, it made their job a lot easier and simpler. Another great example, which is kind of close to food and bev, is life sciences. In life sciences, they love Stratus because we're easy to validate and keep qualified. Because it's an out of the out of the box fault tolerant solution, you know, regulated industry obviously doesn't want to lose any data, so they love the fault tolerance. But when once they got the system in, once because it's a off the shelf, um, you know, product, they can put it in trusting that Stratus will do the availability portion. So the validation becomes simple. And whenever we have to send them a new part, the system itself uh, validates that part with diagnostics to make sure that they're the same and that, that the system is healthy. So it makes it a life a lot simpler. Promega was, is a great example. You can look on our website. We did a, a video uh, on that solution with Robesus. And they talk about their, their savings on validation using a Stratus platform. Another, another great example is machine builders. If you guys are out there that are doing building machines, you know that these machines are getting smarter. You're having to put in more and more software. Cytiva is a customer that used to be called GE Healthcare. They're using us for all of their biologics equipment. So bioreactors, uh, if you string them all together, they call it a, a flex factory. They're using a Stratus platform for all of this equipment. So if you're if you're trying to make smart machines and you want to be able to support them for a very long time from a remote location and they're spread all over the world, Stratus has a great solution for you. Oil and gas, I'm not sure if there's anybody on the call from oil and gas, but you know, we, we've been doing a, a ton of oil and gas with, you know, over the last couple of years, especially at midstream, we do a lot of natural gas pipelines, uh, compressor stations uh, with like uh, TC Energy with Alliance Pipeline. Um, you know, so if you're, if you're in oil and gas, just let me know and I, I can point you to our website, which has midstream and upstream uh, sections full of case studies and value props. So that's it for today. There's a, there's a, here below is my contact information. If you guys want to get together with a, a webinar to uh, really go through the solution in more depth, uh, we would be happy to set that up. Um, we are going to be at Aviva World next week. So we'll have systems there that you can come and, and uh, you know, get, get a demonstration. Um, we can do webinars, we can do, do sizings, uh, and we do have demo equipment that you can use for proof of concepts. Just let me know uh, how we can help you out and uh, have a great rest of your day. Are there any questions?
Perfect. Thank you, Frank. Um, so we had a few questions come in. The first one is, how many VMs can you run on the Z ZTC form platform? All right. So the ZTC Edge platform, as I mentioned, the, the larger of the two uh, models, uh, it had 20 vCore. So if you just divide up the number of, of available resources, four VMs is pretty common to run on, on the platform. Now, there is no technical limitation. So it really comes down to how, mu how, many, uh, how much memory and disk and CPUs are required for your application set. So if you want to know if, it'll, if your environment will fit, just grab our sizing tool. And you can even put in custom applications if, if your application is not on there. And it will tell you if, if, if the, the, the application set that you're looking for will fit on the device. Wonderful, thank you. And then do you sell to the government? Um, yeah, we do quite a bit of government business. I mean, you can count water, wastewater, obviously, as government business, and, and that's that is huge for us. We've also been doing some stuff with the military as well, like the, the US Navy, uh, Arnold Air Force Base is a big customer of ours. So if you've got government projects, um, you know, government is a great place to find a, a stratus opportunity. Uh, it's also a great uh, value prop for these these uh, these uh, companies as well. Wonderful. And then, do the systems support Docker and/or containers? Yeah, in fact, we were just uh, working with a company out of Southern California uh, that is offering uh, uh, container support. So uh, we've got some really exciting news coming out. Uh, if you're interested in Docker's and containers. Uh, for your applications, just ping us a note, and we'll we'll go into more details on uh, on what what's already been tested for for those uh, solutions. Awesome! And then it looks like our last one for now. Um, can you explain how the support model works in the if the customer does not allow system to call from home? Yeah. So so I mean the the customers you know uh, probably seventy percent of them allow their system to call back to Stratus. Now, we understand there are certain situations where, well, the customer initially will always say, hey, we don't let anybody call outside our network. And we have a security discussion with them. And typically, we can get the, the system connected in a way that everybody is comfortable with. But if that doesn't happen, or if, if they don't have any internet where, where the system is, yeah, I mean, a good example is oil platforms. When we're out in the Gulf or off the coast of Nigeria with one of our FT server products, you know, they, they're not going to call home and we're not going to FedEx a part out to them, right? So in those cases, that's why we built in the internal uh, OPC communication for health alerts. So they're going to get their, their local health alert right in their HMI. They can then notify their, you know, whoever's responsible for the computer uh, support in, in their facility and then they can call Stratus. And so they'll just call us, they'll be able to look at the trouble code and everything that we've got in the information in the system. And then we can send out the part that way to that team. So you don't have to be connected is I guess the, the point. Awesome, thanks Frank. Um, and then we had another question come through. Do you do business with any current US nuclear power plants? Gary Ford, are you on? I mean, I I, I know we have some in Europe um, and, you know, we're actually working, you know, I, I, they're having to communicate through a data diode. We just did testing with the waterfall data diode. Uh, so uh, it's an obvious great place for Stratus, fault tolerant computing, no downtime, no data loss. Um, and uh, so it's a great fit. I, I'm not sure if I have a, an example story in the U.S. though. Yeah, I don't know of any in our territory. Okay, in the West, I don't. We don't know of any, but yeah. don't let that stop you. We can, uh, you know, we've done a lot of Siemens power. Uh, you know, they build power plants all over, um, and they they use the Stratus platforms for all their power plants. So uh, we got some great great stories in the power industry. Awesome. 
awesome. Thank you, Frank. Um, and thank you to everyone who attended. If anyone would like to review any portion of this webinar, a recording will be available on YouTube and our website, california.vivaselect.com, once available, and you'll be receiving a copy of it via email. Thank you again for attending and have a great day.